everybody, it's Honest John again. Have you noticed how every time Donald Trump says something or makes a speech or sends out a tweet, he has this unique ability to make a bad situation worse. Most recently he's been doing this with North Korea. There are millions of people in Japan and South Korea within range of North Korea's missiles and artillery that Trump's provocative rhetoric puts at increased risk. If I'm in North Korea, it sure sounds like an attack from the United States is imminent, which increases the possibility that I might strike first. And even though he would lose in, in the end, an attack by North Korea would cause massive death and destruction. But that's just one example. A couple of weeks ago, Donald Trump gave a speech to the Boy Scouts. After the speech, he bragged it was one of the greatest speeches that they'd ever had. He said that one of the people who was head of the Scouts had called him to tell him how great it was. Well, it turned out that that call never happened, and as a matter of fact, the Boy Scouts put out an apology for Trump's speech at the Boy Scout Jamboree. Last week, he encouraged police to abuse suspects in their custody, to treat them rough. And since the police are under a lot of scrutiny for abusive and racist behavior and are facing increasing hostility from the communities that they are supposed to be serving, Trump's remarks certainly didn't heal any divisions there. A couple of weeks ago, Trump created a lie for his son Donald Jr. to put out about his meeting with the Russians that was disproved within hours. Basically, what Donald Trump did was he threw his son under the bus and put him in all kinds of legal jeopardy. And he even manages to make things worse for himself when he speaks. His constant and compulsive lying have resulted in, according to the last poll, 60% of Americans deciding that he is untrustworthy. And his comments after firing James Comey were basically an admission that he had instructed, obstructed justice. Our alliances in Europe and around the world have been weakened because of things that Trump has tweeted and said. And U.S. leadership is now not trusted at all, anywhere. Now, the obvious solution for Trump is to rein himself in and think before he speaks or tweets. I'm sure the people of South Korea wish that Trump would find, would just shut the fuck up. But Trump has the emotional maturity of a 12-year-old and the intellectual capacity of a fourth grader, which means that he's not going to do that. And it would be, I, I admit, it would be very difficult for the President of the United States to spend the rest of his term without saying another word. But the world would be better off if he would do that. Thanks for listening.